given that the etymological opposite of the word remember is not actually to forget, but is in fact dismember, I ask you to consider that we've been reading Mary Shelley's Frankenstein all wrong. The doctor's patchwork monster was remembered to life, and so is this not an allegory of the ways in which our memories betray us? Is it true if I remember a dead boy 1,000 different ways, a thousand new boys will rise from my mouth? Will the sea give him back? Do you recall when the bill of boyhood was passed, requiring that all ash gathered be remembered into fire, and such flame returned to the wood with which we rebuilt our childhood homes as we remembered them? And so they were, of course, erected backwards. Many jagged, some built upside down, some with parents where there were none, some with food and not hunger, some with grandparents and not ghosts. We summon light to our hands, which we cup to our ears to hear the thundering chant of blood. What cruelty when you wish to sit in silence, but your own body refuses. By what artifice are we held together? What is the difference between memory and dream? For which is it appropriate to grieve if both were kind of kindling? Which might you suggest that we burn? Child becoming smoke. Child becoming the morning newspaper. I burned each page and watched the words curl in the dark wind. Angel-faced boy. The kind of face the saints line up to name. Coins over the eyes to ford the river. I found those coins in your jacket pocket. I should tell you, they bought me nothing. Not sleep, nor dreams, nor peace, not even a single tooth trapped in your smile, trapped in your face, trapped behind the nine o'clock television screen. I was only given your name, spilling into the room, each vowel the hollow sound a wound makes. Once, I knew a boy with a face that was the kind of heaven, which meant it held the dead and the dreams of the dead, which is to say it held him and his dreams. And if I go here to the face of heaven when I go, St. Peter will stand at his teeth as always only a few endless inches beneath those even more endless eyes, endless when they were a brown deep as earth, endless now because they are filled with earth. And what does the earth see but everything? What is the earth but a massive singular eye? Ask me where I'll go when I go, and I'll say that face the size of the sky. When you were killed, I began to write letters to my own murderer. I dropped them off at the post office with no address. And now, in my 29th year, one by one by one at my doorstep. What a terrible magic, the day we find out who we really are. <laughs>